At least 14 people have been killed and dozens of others injured in an Israeli strike that hit a school in the Nusayrat refugee camp. The school, operated by the UN's Palestinian refugee agency UNWA, was being used as a shelter for displaced people as the war across Gaza continues. <laughs> Israel's military said in a statement that it had struck terrorists who were reportedly operating in the area and based in the school. That strike comes just a day after at least 90 people were killed and 300 others wounded in one of the deadliest strikes in Gaza in nine months of war. Meanwhile, Israel's Defense Minister Yoav Gallant met with troops at an airbase in the north of the country. He praised them for their efforts in wearing down Hamas, but warned that the pursuit of the group would continue for years. Hamas is every day. He pays for the price, and the ability to get out of it is very high. We are in Rafiach. We are in northern Gaza, charities have set up soup kitchens in a bid to keep the population there fed as aid supplies dwindle. Over 80% of the territory's 2.3 million people have been displaced by the fighting, with many people forced to relocate again and again. Many are now living in squalid makeshift tent camps with limited access to food, clean water and sanitation products. International experts say hundreds of thousands of people across Gaza are on the brink of famine.